Okay, GED secret shortcuts. So are there any secret things out there, secret shortcuts or uh, tactics that can help you pass a GED quickly? So that's the topic of this video. If you just discovered uh, my channel, I hope you consider subscribing. I do a ton of uh, videos, mostly on math uh, for the GED and various other uh, math topics and exams as well. Also, if you're struggling with math to the point where you really need some kind of formal course for the GED, I'll leave a link in the description of this video on my GED Math Accelerator course. I think you'll find it very uh, beneficial. But with that being said, let's get right to it. So, are there any secret shortcuts, any things that you can do to kind of pass a GED? And really what I'm trying to um, get across to you is there, is there anything out there that's like too good to be true where you could just, you know, know a couple tactics and go in there and, and you know, pass a GED? So the, my answer to that is no, okay? Not that I know of. Now, there might be someone out there that has some sort of secret shortcuts, but I've been involved with adult education for quite a number of years, and um, there are just really no shortcuts to, to pass, okay? Now, you have to be careful. One of the reasons I'm hoping that this video might have caught your eye is they say, oh, wow, you know, maybe there are some secret shortcuts. Now, if there are, if there are some uh, tactics, you know, that are good and, and, and could really increase the, your chances of passing the, uh, the GED, I, I would give, tell them to you right now, right off the bat. Now, there are some things in terms of test taking, uh, certain type of questions that, of course, that you can maybe think of them as shortcuts, but they're really just strategies in terms of uh, various questions. But I want you to stick with me with this video here because I don't want you to get suckered by um, a lot of things out there, okay? And what I mean uh, out there on the, quote, internet is there are um, quite a bit of uh, services that offer, let's say, high school diploma or high school equivalency, or and it might be something along the line of like, in three days, get your get your diploma, get your high school diploma, okay? Something along those lines. You've probably seen some ads along those things. Do not go for those services. And oftentimes those services are like, maybe like $500, $300, or maybe even more. Okay, uh, the chances are if you do go through and get your high school diploma with or your GED with one of these kind of services um, and not through an actual state, uh, you know, certified type of uh, organization, you're just going to end up wasting your money. Because if you take that diploma, let's say you go to some sort of technical school, right, or maybe you want to be an auto technician or, or whatnot, you're going to l likely get rejected. Okay, You may not know this, but I'm going to let you know this now. Almost all these organizations are going to validate your diploma or your GED or wherever you got it from. And there's a lot of scams out there, especially with high school diplomas, that are not um, not accepted. Okay, So if it sounds too good to be true... It likely is too good to be true, and they're going to they're going to play on your emotions. Like, hey, you know, they might not say to come. You know, here's a secret way of getting your your high school diploma in two days or three days, uh, and maybe the pressure's on. Maybe right now you don't have much time, and you're looking for um, the quickest way to get your your high school equivalency. Now, I can certainly appreciate that. Um, you know, motivation. You're like, listen, I just need to get this thing taken care of. I totally get that. But if you fall. If you're looking for some sort of secret way or or some sort of um, you know some sort of service that can you know help you, then you're emotionally uh, vulnerable to be taken advantage of. And I'm here to tell you, don't go down that route because these organizations, schools, will vet out um, uh, who's given you your diploma. Okay, and uh, one of the things is um, uh, that really irritates me is that it's difficult to put some of these uh, scandalous businesses, you know, um, out of business. So they're out there, they exist, and they, they'll look great. They'll have great images on our website, and they'll look very official and, and whatnot. You don't want to fall for it. So if you're, you know, need to get your GED and or, or task or high set, you know, you got to get your high school equivalency or your high school diploma, make sure you're working with an actual bona fide certified um, you know, legit, um, 
either company, school, or whatnot. Now, one of the things you can do to check that is to go to your your state um, board of education or your local adult services and just ask them, hey, is this you know official? Or even the school that you're pursuing, let's say you're going for some sort of vocational or technical school, you can ask them in advance, hey, will you accept this uh, diploma um, you know, for this particular school. Now, if we're talking about the GED, you know, that's, that's a little bit uh, different, but just make sure if you're getting yourself in, um, involved with a school or organization that it's, le- that it's legitimate, because there's a lot of things out there that, that look official, that are not official, and are not going to do you any good. So, with that being said, okay, if I, cu- if this video caught your eye, you're like, oh, I want to know these sh- shortcuts, you know, maybe you might be kind of disappointed, like, oh, well, I hope it was, <laughs> I was hoping that there would be some sort of shortcuts. And quite frankly, listen, if there were secret shortcuts or whatnot, I would be the first one to tell you, especially if I knew them. So what does work? Okay. So let me go ahead and just erase this here. And I've done a lot of videos on this. If, you know, what's the quickest way from no GED, if you will, to having a GED? Okay. Well, the only secret shortcut that I know of, okay, is doing is doing it right the first time. And what I mean by that is, is not dragging the process out by trying to look for shortcuts. Oftentimes, a lot of people will look for shortcuts and they'll spend a massive amount of time looking for the easy way out. And if they just invested that time on a good study plan with good material, and good work habits and study habits, they would have all that time that they were looking for shortcuts, they could have studied and taken a a GED probably in half the time. So the quickest way from going from no GED to getting your GED is kind of just accepting that, hey, listen, you're gonna have to put in the work, you're gonna have to put in the investment. So the secret really, okay, the secret shortcut, if there is any secret shortcut, is this having the decision made by yourself that you're going to do whatever it takes. You're going to do this the right way. Okay. Which means you're going up, you become a student, you're going to, you know, uh, research out good material that works for you. And you're going to work hard to achieve this goal. If you have that mentality, then you're going to do just fine. Okay. Irrespective of your starting point. Okay. But you know, the GED, the high set, the tax exams, you know, high school equivalency exams, they're they're not easy. I mean, you do need to know a considerable amount of information, um, you know, because it is, it is high school equivalency. I mean, think about everything they teach in high school. And I, I specialize in the math, and you need to know a good amount of algebra and geometry at the high school level to pass. So they're not, you know, these exams are not, um, you know, like, oh, you can just kind of, you know, not really prepare and go in and think you're going to have a good shot of passing. Some people do, but then again, too, there is that kind of luck element involved. So my advice to you is, you know, collect your, your thinking and just accept, Hey, listen, if I go the easy way out, I'm probably going to not pass the GED. I'm going to get frustrated. And if I keep with that plan of just hoping to pass but not preparing, you're just going to drag this thing out. And if you are thinking about your GED, you definitely are thinking the right way. You need to get your GED. Even if you're not, well, I'll just do it some other uh, time. Listen, I get a lot of um, feedback from people who have taken my course courses, and this is kind of seemed to be a um, kind of a more frequent trend is that more and more people are having to take these uh, high school equivalency exams and they didn't expect to, to have to. In other words, um, I'm getting uh, emails from people in, in their jobs that were they were employed, had no GED, and the next thing you know, they're being told, hey, you need to, you know, you're, you need your GED like in a week or two, you know, like crazy things like that. And the people are kind of getting caught off guard. So you don't want to be caught off guard. You want to go ahead and take care of this. And that's why I do this. That's why I make these kind of videos because, you know, I feel like if I can motivate you to, you know, take care of this, then that's a good thing. That's a good thing for you, even for whatever crazy reason you never needed to get your GED. It's a good thing to take care of. Okay. So you should take care of it sooner rather than later because you just never know. But um, with that being said, again, 
if you're out there researching shortcuts like how to get my GED in one or two days or whatnot, you you could end up being taken advantage of with one of these um, kind of scams. And there's quite a few out there that they look really legitimate. So let's go ahead and just finish this up. Again, um, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. You know, I think you'll find a lot of useful information about the GED and, and mathematics in general. Make sure you hit that bell notification if you're going to do that. If you got something out of this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me feedback. Uh, it's the way I know um, how I'm doing and what I can do, you know, uh, you know, in the future, uh, share whatever future information. And of course, if there is ever this magical one tip shortcut to pass a GED, I'll be the first one out there making a, vi <laughs> a video on it because listen, I'm not, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to always be the hard way, right? We're always looking for the most efficient way. Uh, the path of least resistance to get from to get something done, and I think that's smart. However, when you're studying for an exam like this, the path of least resistance is just to buckle down and learn the material. Okay. Um, again, if you're struggling with math specifically, I'll leave a link in the description of this video on my uh, GED Math Accelerator course, which is um, really effective. But with that being said, I thank you for your time and have a great day.